Check out the link below to get access to the Click Masterclass that's out right now. It has got rave reviews and you will learn everything you need to know to go from zero to one in ClickSense. So check it out now. Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Um, a super quick tutorial today because um, somebody asked me how to do this and I found a solution. So I thought I would share it with y'all. And what we want to do is we have a table here and I only want to show certain products in this table. And I don't really want to use the filtering. So when somebody comes to this particular table, they only see a couple of products that I want them to see. So how do I do that? Interested? Let's see. Uh, I'm sure there are different ways. This is one super simple way to do it. That is by creating your own dimension. So let's say that I actually want this table to only show due shirt, I know shoes and and duck shirt. So I want this table to be filtered for that and I don't but I don't want it to be I don't want to use filters. So one of the ways you could do it is you create a new dimension where only these three values are in it. And once you have those values, you use that particular dimension and filter your table based on that. So how do you do it? Well, let's go to our, let's create a dimension first. I'm gonna say create new. And here I'm going to create this dimension based on an if statement. That is if the name of my column is equal to, let's say duck shirt. Since we have a lot of them, I'm just gonna say match. So if the products match, what do I want it to match? Well, I want it to match duck shirt or I know shoes or do shirt. In this case, if they match it, then I want it to bring those values. So that is nothing but the products itself. So let me close this one. Otherwise, I want it to be null. So this is my if statement. So essentially I'm saying, hey, if the products are duck shirt, I know shoes and do shirt, then in that case, bring the product names. Otherwise, just leave it as null. So I'm gonna click on apply. I'm gonna leave this as filtered products. All right, let's just create it. Okie dokie, let's go back to our table. Let's add it here. Filtered products. So now I see that, let me move it a little bit. Yeah, great. Now you see that whenever the product names matches the ones that I've selected, then in that case, the name has been brought here. Otherwise, you see that it is null. So if you go below, these are all null because I, these are the products that I don't want to see. And now the way you can filter it is by just telling click, don't show, if it's a null, then don't show it. So now you have a table that is filtered only with the dimension values that you want. Super simple, right? Please leave a like, really appreciate it. See you in the next one. Peace.